What's up to my TNT squad? I am back with another video. Y'all already know. Let's go and get this thing popping. 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 Baby, where you going? I thought you was asking for The times I did you wrong, you can probably say no. You talking about a dude that can treat you way better. I'm an eagle. He just a guy with some bird feathers. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about the Chris and Queen situation. Uh, basically, what, what how it all started, it was these three girls posted a video calling themselves exposing Chris. Uh, of him on FaceTime with them basically in the end of the video where you see your little proof you're gonna skip to the little proof of the video okay so the proof is basically right there where you see Chris actually talking to the girl talking about you come see you gotta, you gotta come see okay like why would he say that why he has a beautiful wife he has a child this man has Bukus of money. Bukus of money from YouTube. Why? Why? Why would he cheat? It's stupid to me. Because, like, I'm married. And, and, yeah, he married or whatever. He's supposed to be married or whatever. They put up the uh, uh, married little license on uh, Snapchat or whatnot. I don't know if they were signed or whatever, but... Uh, they supposed to be married, but... I'm married, and if I was at the top with all that money, you know, and, you know, with my family, and we had a home, and we had a car, I would be praising God. I, I would be honestly happy with life. Like, I mean, I'm happy with life right now, but, you know, I would be all the way into it, like, probably 100% Christian. I would be spreading the messages to others. But, uh, that's my, that's me and my situation. But, Chris, on the other hand, wants to go out and cheat. Like, why? Why would you cheat? It's crazy. Like, for a piece of vagina. Like, seriously. They, they may be cute and all, but all, at the end of the day, all they're going to do is throw a piece of freaking meat at you and then y'all gonna be done like uh like queen said like why would you cheat queen can give you that that's your wife that is what she is for one of the main things other than uh cooking and cleaning and you know being your significant other or whatever y'all helping each other you don't supposed to hurt her you supposed to help her I don't know why would you do that. She is a well. She seems like a good girl. Who knows? She might be doing her dirty laundry on the side too. Who knows? But uh, from what we see and what we know, she seems like a good girl, right? And then on top of that, Chris has been uh, exposed before about uh, some girl he was with, supposed to be a tranny girl or whatever. I don't really know much about the situation. But he, I heard that he was he was already supposed before, so I mean he cheated and she forgave him and that's that. <laughs> but uh, let's talk about his his Snapchat. Uh, Tangent says that um, like we watch her video, we watch his video or uh, Chris's video, and I mean you go on his Snapchat, it's just I guess what girls call thirst trap. For me or whatever, like this thirst trap, like where he in the shower and he'll have you know his body, like some of his body showing or whatever. Like it, like people say that he shows too much or whatever. Like why would he show all of that? I mean him being a, a male and whatever, but you know it's unnecessary. You want, you don't gotta put certain stuff on Snapchat, man. You don't gotta put stuff certain stuff on social media. It, it just doesn't make sense. And then on his Instagram, you'll see like you go to Chris Sales underscore and you scroll down his his little timeline on photos. You won't you won't see Queen nowhere. If you see Queen, he'll push. Now we still get money, nigga, but this time. If you find a 50 in here, I'm pussy. 
Check this out, nigga. This time, just do this pocket change to me, nigga. You better ask somebody. We gonna flick them. We gonna flick them till they stop. So hold the camera. Like what man won't put on uh, social media? Uh, like every social media, what what man won't post his wife? And and then you probably barely ever see Queen on his Snapchat. It's crazy. Like that is your wife. You you signed your life to die with her. That's what you did. That's what you signed up for. You got to think, man. Think. But uh, after that, uh, they, they, uh, uh, Chris going to drop his video and apologize to all his fans or whatnot. And then afterwards, uh, JHM going to, well, JHM is the uh, name of the, uh, the uh, people that dropped the video. I'm not in Jada, everyone, or whatever. She gonna drop another video and say she was sorry. I just would like to formally come out and apologize for the video that was posted. The video of exposing Chris. That was not the way to go about things. That was not God's way to go about things. And that was definitely not the grown way to go about things. And then she left a video up there. Like, why Why would she leave a video up there and then drop another video and say she's sorry? Like... It, it really didn't make sense to me. She posted a video exposing him and then she posted another one. And, and instead of reposting the video, it's crazy. It's, it's like that Nicki Minaj situation where uh, her and Remy Ma was going at it. After Remy Ma uh, went off on the track, it was over with because Nicki Minaj came back to back to back. She wouldn't let it go, but it died down now. But it, it just reminded me of that situation. It's crazy. That she'll post the videos and keep posting the videos and her claiming to be the older sister and whatever. She's supposed to be more mature. That's what I think. But I guess she's 18 and young, dumb, and broke, whatever. I recently just watched her new video where she talks about uh, how she reached out to Queen and she reached out to Chris. I messaged Queen myself and I sent her long paragraphs. She didn't respond. I mean, of course she's not gonna respond. So then I decided to call Chris. I left a voicemail. I called Chris again. I left a second voicemail. I texted Chris. Well, I guess it's supposed to be. It was. It was affecting her in some type, some type of way for her to put the video up anyway. But then, then again, check this out, y'all. Check this out. She claims. To be a Christian. I'm a very, very Christian woman and I'm an older sister. A Christian, y'all. I don't think she's a Christian. What type of Christian would break a, a happy home? You breaking a happy home. I mean, you already did damage sleeping with them, but you claim you didn't know or whatever, but... If you didn't know, the, you made the situation even worse by posting a, a video to, you know, break his happy home. You hurt the wife. I mean, you could have you could have sent a message, told him, and uh, you know, told in private because like she is exposed all over the world now. It's it's no coming back from that. She exposed all over social media. For having a dog, a dog husband, a dog as a husband, you feel me? It's it's crazy. Why would you do that? If you are a uh, if you're supposed to be a Christian, why would you do that? It doesn't make sense. <clears throat> that is not the mature way to go about the situation, and it's not the Christian way to go about it either. Like if Queen, if if Chris supposedly hurt you, then the mature way about going that situation, like, I mean, you will basically just let it go if you are a Christian. Just completely let it go. Like, let it die down and just let it go. Like, why would you expose him or just, just, it, it's many other ways you could have handled that situation. Why? I mean, I wouldn't call her a whore or you know, none of these other words that people be coming up with. But I'm just mad at the fact that she calls herself a Christian and handling that situation like that. 
with her being the older sister and steady posting videos. She says she's going to stop, but uh, I don't believe that. Queen posted a video saying um, how basically she seemed like she was feeling sad or whatever. Um, I mean, yeah, every every girl would probably be sad when they find out the one that they love the most has betrayed them. You know, I mean, that that being her husband, a person she kind of signed her life over to, uh, other other than God. Um, I mean, and he betray you is like, like all your trust is just gone down. You know, it's it's like it's gonna take some time to come back from it. But I do feel like um, I do feel that Queen, Queen is actually going to accept him back because she did it one time, and um, I mean, I seen her uh, in a video going to the court or whatever, trying to see what she was going to do about the situation, which... So I just got from the, um, I just got from the courthouse and I was talking to, um, certain people about certain things. I think she, um, I think she was planning on trying to get divorced, but I hope not. We're going to pray about it, about that or whatever. But I, I hope it doesn't lead to divorce. I actually hope they can actually work their problems out. Um, Chris... Chris just let the, the issues, I mean, he let he let the fame and the money and, you know, his lifestyle get to him. Like, why? Why would you do that? Like, it's, it's crazy. But I, I, I would never let it happen to me, man. I, I'm a happy married man. You so, If you're a happy married man, then, you know, you wouldn't be doing that crazy stuff like that. You wouldn't be making your partner, your, your wife husband look sad out here you know okay so what we learned from the situation is to just be faithful to your your per, your partner man like it's crazy it's a lot of stuff going on like he could have easily got that girl pregnant easily like i, I hope he used the condom um I, I hope he did be faithful to your significant order because when when you sign a marriage license, a, a legit marriage license, or, you know, when you actually get married, you are basically signing your life over to, you know, that person or whatever. Like, you telling them 100% you'll be there for them. You won't, you won't betray them. You won't uh, mislead them, misguide them. You will always be by their side until death do you part. It's like, it's, it's just, it's, it's a commitment, right? It, it's commitment. No matter what the issue is, or no matter what the situation is, you gonna always be by their side. Now that was my reaction video. Y'all give this, this video a thumbs up. Uh, make sure y'all like, subscribe, uh, comment down below of what you think about the situation. Do you think the the situation could have been handled better by uh, the JHM gang or whatever? Do you think Jada Everon should have never posted the video? Like, what what do you think about the situation? Y'all just let me know down below, and I will be replying. Thank you guys for watching this video. This is Tony from Tony and Tangy, and I am out. Now I'm on my knees and I'm begging you please Baby please don't leave cause you all I need Yet I can't believe that you wanna leave me Got me thinking to myself that you don't need me Now I'm out